What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing Colonel Sanders from KFC. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So we start on the left side and draw in a circle. Starting from the very top, we'll work our way around to the bottom of the circle. And then back up towards the top. Now let's leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we want to line up the top of the circle and come down to the same height. And then back up towards the top. Now we're going to add a small highlight circle on the top left of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, circle in, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. And now we'll fill the outside areas of the eyes in black. Now we want to move up and draw the inside edge of the glasses. So we're going to start on the left side. We're just going to curve up above the eye and then down on the inside. Just line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up and then back down. Now going back to the side, I want to curve down around the eye and then back up on the inside. It's almost like drawing a half circle. Coming down and then pulling that back up. Let's go back to the left side. From the outside corner, we're going to step down, draw an angle line going up and out, and draw a short line going up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going out in an angle, and then going back up towards the top. Now on the left side, I'm going to follow that same curve of the glasses coming back in. Let's curve up in the middle, and then pull that back into right about there, and then draw a straight line coming down towards that inside corner. Do the same thing on the right. Start with the inside, going up, curve up over the right eye, and then down towards the side. Let's add the bridge of the glasses. From the left side, we're going to step down, draw a curve, going up, and then back down. Step down, draw that same curve going across. Let's add a small oval on the outside of the glasses. Let's start on the left, going around. And do the same thing on the right. And it will fill the outside of the frame in black. Let's move down in the center and draw on the nose. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve down and then pull that back up on the right side. Let's move up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction of the bridge of the nose. Let's add in the mustache. On the left side, we're going to step down. Start by curving out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're just going to curl this back up, just pointing towards the eye. Let's draw on the bottom of the mustache. Back on the left, we're going to come down, and then we'll bend that up towards the middle, just underneath the nose. Go down towards the right, and then up towards the side. Now we're going to move down and draw the lower lip. Starting back on the left, curve down, and then up, and then we'll tuck the beard in underneath. On the left side, we're going to step in, go straight down, and then bend that in towards the middle. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Let's add a couple wrinkles on the outside of the eye. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a straight line going out. Step down, angle down and out. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. Underneath the glasses on the left side, we curve down. And we're just going to pull that in behind the beard, right in the middle. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. Starting on the left, curve up, round out the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Going around, and 
pulling that in. Let's add the fold inside the ear. From the top, we're going to move down, curl up and out. And then going back to the inside, we're going to curl around, going out and then hooking that back in. Let's add the eyebrows just above the glasses. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and then pull that down on the inside. And then we'll do the exact same thing on the right. Now let's move up and draw in the hair. We're going to start in the center at the very top. Start with a point. Now from here, we can draw a wave going up and then bending that down towards the eyebrow. And then we're going to curl that back up. Going down and bending that back up towards the left. Now from the tip of the curl, we're going to work our way up towards the top of the head. Come down, go all the way up to the top of the head, cross, and now we're just going to hook that down. Now let's create an overlap. We're going to step up, go across, and then down on the right side. Now from here, we're going to curve across and then down towards the widow's peak. Come in, and then down. From the widow's peak, we're going to step up, curve up, Round this out and then pull that down on top of the glasses on the end. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the right side of the head. Going out, come down the side. Now at the end, we're just going to curl that back up and we'll pull that down and then in on top of the ear. Let's go to the left and draw the inside edge of the hair. From the corner of the glasses, we'll step in, curve up, and then in behind the hair. Now we'll step out on top of the ear, curve out. And then up, come down, and then up in behind. Let's move down and draw in the collar, starting on the left side underneath the head, and come down and bend that in towards the middle. Go to the right side and do the same thing, coming down and then in. Let's add in the tie. On the left side of the beard, we're going to draw a straight line going out, and the same thing on the right. It's going to flatten off the end and then come in, leaving a gap in the center. Now back on the left side, we're going to angle down and out to the left and right. So flatten off the end, short line. Now we're going to come up towards the middle and then back down. Let's fill the tie in black. Now let's go back to the bottom of the collar, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the coat. And then from here we're going to draw a straight line going out towards the left, and then the right. Let's draw on the side of the body. Going back to the left, we're going to start by going straight up, and slowly bend that up and in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going straight up, and then bend that in. Now on the left side, we're going to step down, draw an angle line coming down and out on both sides. And we'll curve down and in toward that center point of the collar. Now let's go back up to the top. About halfway along this line, we're going to angle up and out on either side. And we'll go straight up underneath the head. Let's add a pocket square on the right side. We're going to start with a straight line going across. Come down with a short line, and then close off the bottom, and we'll fill that in black. Let's move down on the right side of that center line and draw a small circle for the button. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and down toward the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, we're going to come down and then we'll bend this up towards the toe on both sides. And then back on the left side, we're going to draw on the top of the foot. We're going to curve up. We're going to bend this down in towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. And then we're going to bend that up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up towards the top of the foot. Rounding this out and coming down. And we'll bend that back up toward the inside. And now we're going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. Taking this curve, stepping up, 
and then just tracing that across on both sides. Now we're going to move back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Let's start on the left hip, start by curving out, rounding out the leg, and then pulling that in on top of the foot. And do the same thing on the right. Going out, down, and then in. Now let's move up and draw on the arms. We're going to start with the arm on the left, holding a bucket of chicken. So about halfway down the side of the body, we're going to draw the front edge of the bucket. We're going to curve down, and then up on the outside. Now let's simplify the chicken. Starting on the outside, we're going to curve up, and then down. Do that again. Going up, and then down on the inside. Let's tuck one in behind. Starting at the top of this curve, go up, and then down. Then we'll angle the side of the bucket coming down and in. We'll start up here, come down with that angle line towards the bottom of the bucket. Now the hand is going to be holding the bucket from the bottom. So in between the side of the bucket and the body, right in here we're going to draw three ovals. Let's start with the center one, and add one more on either side. And now from the outside corner of the bucket, we curve down and in behind the fingers. Continue on the inside, going up and behind the body. And we're going to add some detail to the bucket. Starting along the top, we're going to step down, just trace that across, from left to right. And then we're going to add a thick stripe inside the bucket. Starting on the left, draw a straight line coming down towards the finger, and we'll do the same thing on the inside. Let's go back up to the top of the collar, step out in behind the head, and curve the arm going out, and then down in behind the chicken. Now let's draw the arm on the right. We're gonna start halfway down the side of the body. We curve out and then down towards the wrist. Now we're gonna curl the thumb around the cane. Curve around and then out like a small half circle. And then from here we're gonna curve up and then back down. Let's draw on the cane. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, draw a straight line coming all the way down beside the foot. Go to the outside and do the same length line. Then we'll close off the bottom with a curve, coming down and then up. Now we're going to add three fingers wrapped around the cane. On the right side of the cane, curve out and then up. Step down, curve out and up the second finger. And then the third finger we're going to go out and just pull that up and in towards the wrist. And then we'll go back up to the collar, step out. We're going to curve the arm, we're going out and then down towards the outside of the wrist. And then we'll draw the cuff of the sleeve. Starting on top of the thumb, we're going to curve out and up towards the outside of the wrist. Step up, just trace that across towards the outside. And that's pretty much it. There's Colonel Sanders from KFC. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.